Right, our friends are here to talk about cap to cap and we've been kind of going through different uh, phases of this over the past week or so talking about different topics that are going to be brought to Washington DC. We have Dr. Christopher Swales with us and Dr. David Innes. Great to have you both on the show. Um, here to talk about something different today. Now we're talking about technology being used in healthcare, and that's what you're going to talk yes. to us about. And then kind of what's being done to get the workforce ready to use it. So uh, for our viewers who haven't caught one of these segments yet, why don't we start and talk about what cap to cap really is all about. Cap to Cap is a program led by the Metro Chamber um, in which business leaders, um, folks that are advancing civic interests in Sacramento um, and elected officials uh, go to D.C. to meet with um, federal officials and representatives to advance policy change that impacts the six county region in Sacramento. Um, this year is one of the largest yet. There are 370 representatives from Sacramento going. And to voice the concerns of Sacramentans. Okay, so a lot of different topics we brought to the table. What you guys are here to talk about is this technology, and you brought yes. a little prop there with you to explain better what you guys will be talking about. What is this? So this is um, glass technology. It's uh, the program is called Augmetics. Um, basically, it's a live AV feed with a remote scribe. So basically, when I go into a room with a patient, I wear these. And instead of me having to sit in front of a computer and take notes, the scribe is listening and can watch, and he writes my notes for me or gets most of the information, then I can don't have to worry about the computer. I can look at the patient face to face and spend more direct contact with them. And then afterwards, I get to go home early because most of my note <laughs> is done and I can just add some stuff and sign it and be done in an hour instead of three hours. What a great tool that mm -hmm. obviously does a lot on your end. How does it help the patient? So it helps them because it, it uh, allows me to be more focused on what they're saying at the moment, mm -hmm. right? So I don't have to keep worrying about, oh, I need to write down this fact. Or I need to write down this fact for later because I have a full schedule. So I might be two patients waiting, right? Sure. So I can stare at them, you know, look at them in the face, listen to what they're saying and be really present for them for their visit. And then the information's captured. So later on, I, I have all that information down so I can write it. So what are partners and educational institutions doing to prepare the workforce to use this type of thing and to get people familiarized with the technology? Well, we know that in, in Sacramento, there are various sectors and industry sectors that require um, a skilled workforce. Healthcare is probably the largest private sector um, employer, but there are also public service and there's also information communications technology. All these different sectors that require skills that are needed to make Sacramento a uh, make the Sacramento workforce a, a force to be reckoned with, if you will. And so what we at Align Capital Region do is that we align public and private resources to advance outcomes in educational attainment, talent development, and community well-being, all of which are necessary for the socioeconomic uplift in Sacramento. So when we go back to D.C., and that's coming up soon, right? That's next week already? Is that next week? It's tomorrow. It's tomorrow. Oh, my goodness. It's already <laughs> tomorrow. Um, so what will you be asking in D.C. to help with these efforts, and what kind of support will you be looking for? So I'm on the workforce and uh, education team, and so one of the things that we will be looking at is asking for continued support um, from a policy perspective and mm -hmm. also from a funding perspective for things like the Workforce Innovation and Opportunity Act, which... Um, which forces or, or uh, education partners and business partners and, and community-based organizations to come together to determine what a skilled workforce looks like mm -hmm. and then also to meet the needs of business, which contributes to the socioeconomic uplift. All right, great to have you guys both on the okay. show and thanks for introducing us to that cool little technology that you have there. Cap to Cap, leaving tomorrow uh, and going through April 18th, uh, heading to Washington, D.C. There's the website right there on the screen. And of course, we'll be checking back in uh, when everyone gets back and see how everything went. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you.